We are located in Tuscola, Illinois, and this is the Tuscola High School Gymnasium. Steve Eisenhower, and I am a former superintendent. I currently work for a couple different electricians, but the installer on this project was Cell Electric out of Bloomington, Illinois. And the project is being ran by Omni Energy Partners out of St. Louis. I had worked on some projects on relighting gyms, but with just standard LED, nothing as far as dynamic lighting goes. And so I did a little research online. I found a couple of different companies, and that's when I reached out to Wisconsin Lighting Lab. Prior to this, it was nothing but two lamp, four foot T8s. They had converted the ones over the floor to LEDs. It was LED bulbs, but everything else was just your standard four foot, uh, two lamp T8s in here. You know, the, the custodian, the head maintenance guy here, I talked with him several times and they had to spend a lot of time changing out ballast, uh, coming back in and changing out bulbs and that type of thing. So this project should help them eliminate that problem. I was impressed with the lights. It, I'm always amazed when you grab hold of an old fixture, when I say an old fixture, like these two lamp T8s we took down, uh, the weight to them. Then when you grab hold of a fixture that's LED and it, they're just like feather light. Uh, I know the electricians like putting these in because they're just so easy to install. And I thought the quality, I mean, I love the, uh, the clear screen on them because we, we didn't have to put any type of cages up, which I, what I, I know a lot of jobs we've done uh, putting up LED lights in gym, we had to put cages on them because I know they have PE in here during the day as well, but no, no cages and I think it makes a lot cleaner look. I think it was, that was the big thing, was just trying to get the wow factor when the crowd's here and things are going and you've got a dynamic lighting package that's going to add a lot, add, add a lot to the atmosphere and also the enthusiasm of the crowd. I gave you guys some ideas on what the school was looking for types of things and I know those can be updated as we go along but to come in here and, and plug in a controller and all, all we had seen so far were we turn the lights on and off and they work that was it but immediately you come in and powered up the main controller started pushing buttons and, and that dynamic chase and different things started happening it's like wow because you don't realize that that's technically built into the light itself there was no ex extra wiring or anything that had to be done it's just it's done and it, it, it looks amazing I'm just very impressed. As far as the uh, wireless controller goes, I mean, it's, it's immediate. If you want something off, you hit that button and that light goes out immediately. Or if you want a whole band of lights or a whole zone of lights to go out or back on, it, it's pretty much touch and play and immediately it happens. To me, it's been great. I mean, I know back early uh, in talking with Matt, I gave him some couple of different projects that we were looking at. And the communication was always there. If I reached out to you guys, you were always right back with, to me and with you know updates and things that were going on. And I just think the whole communication thing was done extremely well. And I know Matt even arranged a demo up at your lab, up at Wisconsin Lighting Lab. You have a lab there and you did a demo for us on what we could expect from these lights and it's been delivered. So I, I can't complain, everything looked great.